Heavy costs in the interior affect everyone. One local builder is looking to heat his home through unconventional renewable resources. He's combined a remarkably efficient structure with renewable heating. Lacey Grosvold has more. The house's placement is important. The property is in a good locale for catching the sun. Solar panels warm water that heats the house and provides domestic hot water supply year-round. Passive solar heat warms the home through windows during the day. At night, heavy shutters cover all the windows to eliminate heat loss. Klopp emphasizes the importance of insulation. There's only one true investment which is worthwhile anymore, and that's insulation. During December and January, there is little sun to catch and a lot of heating necessary. How do we properly store it and overcome days where we don't have sunlight? Water stores heat in a 5,000-gallon indoor water tank. This retains heat from warmer days. In case it isn't enough, the family has a wood stove to supplement the solar. They've only had to use it a handful of times this winter. Klopp shares his findings and innovations. The Cold Climate Housing Research Center received a grant to place sensors around the house to monitor the heat. Klopp thinks it's important that this scientific data is collected to back up his claims. This home took years of research and development. He thought about the house for three years before building Building it. Reality and science on paper sometimes don't quite match. This is his second house that abides by such stringent environmental standards. They apply to everything from energy usage to indoor air quality. The third one will be cheaper, will be easier, and uh, you know there's such a great potential that somebody has to start somehow. That's my motivation, basically. Practice makes perfect. He expects the third model to be better and more affordable. The target is for a house that will return the initial added investment within 10 years. It will do this through decreased energy costs. Uh, this building proves that point that you know we can build a zero energy house even in our extreme cold climate. With News 13, I'm Lacey Grossfold.